Hey guys, welcome to another Java knowledge sharing session. In this video, we will see how we can debug our Java code using Eclipse or STS. So without any further delay, let's start. I remember when I start programming in Java and uh, in the beginning, most of us also, we use print statements. If we want to see what are the values present in the variable at a specific execution stage. But this approach becomes very difficult when the size of program increases. For example, for enterprise level applications where are a number of classes are present and the class size is also huge. So that becomes a difficult approach to uh, follow for debugging any uh, program execution. As we need to write a lot of print statement in different classes and even after that we do not have control to pause or uh, resume the execution of program at a specific stage. Almost all the modern IDEs like Eclipse, IntelliJ IDEA, STS, they provide a facility using that you can debug your Java program. So in that breakpoints are included. Uh, that breakpoint is a point inside a program where uh, your program execution will be paused. In this video, we will see how we can debug a Java program and what all components are uh, available in the IDE. So this is a class which I have written inside it uh, a normal static main method is there which will be the uh, starting point of execution in this program and I have also added one more static method uh, which is returning string and its name is say hello and it also accept one uh, parameter as well. Now we used to run the program either using this button this play button or uh, right clicking on the class and run as a Java application. If I run it, I will be able to see the output hello Amon text zone. But what if I want to see the execution step by step? So for that Eclipse provides debug as functionality. You can right click on the class and there is option debug as then you can click on Java application. If you click on this, it will execute the program in debug mode. But wait, the program was not paused anywhere or I was not able to see the stepwise execution. In And breakpoints come into play at uh, that point. Breakpoints are the components uh, which will tell the program to stop its execution or pause its execution at that point. So suppose we want to pause the execution at line number 10. So here in the ID itself, just on the left hand side of line number, you can uh, click on uh, the screen and you will see this uh, dot will appear. So it is a breakpoint here. So if now I try to debug it as a Java application, it will ask me for confirming the perspective switch to debug. Currently I was in a standard Java perspective, but if we want to see more options regarding debugging, then I need to switch to a perspective of debug. So I will click on switch. Then you can see a small changes there in the interface. On the left hand side, you can see this debug window appears. This will tell you the execution uh, stage of the program. Currently, we can see the program has paused this execution at line number 10 because we have added a breakpoint at line number 10. Uh, but to be uh, just point to be noted that this line is not executed yet. So the execution is paused at this line. So if we move ahead, then only this line will be executed. So here you can see it is paused at line number 10 on the left hand side panel. On the right hand side you can see uh, one uh, more important component which is variables. This section will tell you uh, what all variables are currently there in the scope and what are their values. At this point if you see only args is a variable which is present. Why? Because if you see in while calling the main method the args argument is passed and that argument is uh, stored as a variable in stack and it does not have any value because we have not passed any uh, command line argument to this program. Now how to move ahead for the next step. So you will be able to see these two buttons. Uh, one is step into the other one is uh, step over. 
so in case of step into we will discuss it uh, in a while the step over is nothing but it will execute this highlighted line and move to the next line so if i click on uh, step over you can see this execution is completed and what happened after this execution is you can see there is a change in the variable section one string variable message is created and hello amon text zone value is assigned to that specific variable okay so and in the next line what we are doing we are just printing out this uh, specific message variable whatever is the value okay and if you see there are other variables also like name message but these variables are not here in this stack that we will see uh, very shortly so to move to the next step i can click on step over and it will move the execution to the next stage and you can see after execution of line number 11 uh, console uh, in the console we have hello amon text zone the value of message getting printed now it is just executing the last line of that uh, main method we can just click on step over and the program execution is disconnected you can see it is the jvm is terminated the program execution has completed its workflow and with that you can see all the variable details are also gone those are cleared now suppose at line number 10 as i'm calling one method i want to see what is happening inside that method so to see that there are two ways one is i can add one more uh, breakpoint here inside that method which is here at line number six so if i add a breakpoint here and on clicking on step over i will be moved to this method for the execution now let's see that i'm uh, uh, debugging it as a java application currently uh, with the first breakpoint at line number 10 so now i can click on step over and it will uh, move next to see if uh, in the calling method uh, itself there is a breakpoint then the control will move to that we will be able to see that detail on this left hand side panel as well if i click on step over you can see a call has been made to say hello and that say hello is also containing a breakpoint so from the main method line number 10 the control has been shifted to line number 6 inside the say hello method okay so currently you can see the variable section is also changed so this args variable is gone why because as mentioned in the beginning this variable section will tell you the detail of variables which are in scope so currently only one variable is in scope because six line is not executed yet so the name is only uh, in scope and it is having a value amon text zone this is the value we have passed at line number 10 so if i go ahead and uh, do a step over another variable msg is created which is concatenation of hello and the name so which in turns to be comes out uh, hello amon text zone and in on the line number seven we are just returning this value now if i click on step over it will move the control back to the calling uh, line which will be line number 10 so now you see the variable section is again changed and now we are having only args uh, uh, variable but we can see say hello has returned um hello amon text zone so this detail you will be able to see here and this section uh, whatever is written on the right hand side of equal to uh, is already executed and its value is amon text zone and that value will be uh, assigned to the message variable once this line is completely executed now to do that let's click on step over and here you can see the message is assigned the value which was returned from say hello method and in the end we have a print uh, statement so we can do a step over and we'll see that uh, it has printed uh, hello tech amon tech zone to the console as well and if i press it once again it will complete the execution of that specific program uh, the second way is to use another function which is available which is uh, step into so let me just remove the breakpoint from here i can double click you can double click to add or remove the breakpoint so now again i'll click on uh, right click on the program debug as java application so now the control is here at line number 10 and i want to step into this say hello function so instead of clicking on step over i will click on step into and uh, as you can see there is no breakpoint which is defined inside the say hello method but the control will move to uh, this specific method 
so this will act as same if we define a uh, normal breakpoint inside that method so now we are inside say hello and the other execution will uh, will will remain as it is now we can use step over to uh, debug this specific method so let's click on uh, step over and uh, it has created message value returned a message value assigned it to the message in the main method and printed on console this is how you can debug your java program by applying breakpoints and using step over and step into options of uh, eclipse ide that's it for this video if you like the video please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you won't miss any tutorial video also if you have any query or suggestion please do comment thanks for watching i'll see you soon